Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Louise from The Dusty Jacket. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, when you think of giving, you probably think of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not giving away any cars today. I am disappointed! But I am giving you five picks from Oprah's Book Club. Okay, cool. Let's get started. First up is The Poisonwood Bible, an historical fiction by Barbara Kingsolver, which I rated four out of five stars. This is the story of a family. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. The Price family. Father and Baptist minister Nathan, his wife Orleana, and their four daughters, Rachel, Leah, Ada, and Ruth May. The Prices are missionaries who traveled to the Belgian Congo in 1959 Although they pack up everything that they think they'll need, they discover that all of their preparations couldn't possibly prepare them for what they would experience in a post-colonial Africa. This story spans three decades and King Solver rotates narrators between Orleana and her four daughters, which gives the story a lot of depth since we're given five different viewpoints but hearing the same thing told five different ways. The point, the point okay, is that no, we I'm know each other outside of here. I can fail at that. Can I, I just finish it? Can I 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 finish it? Can get a little tedious and begins to wear thin at times. Biggest downside was at 543 pages, each character's storyline seems to go well beyond its natural endpoint. King Solver could have easily trimmed 150 pages from this book and still had a great, an interesting story. Ultimately, I rated this book highly because the writing is superb, although it does get very political and uncomfortably preachy at times. Number two is Icy Sparks by Gwen Hyman Rubio, which I rated four out of five stars. Icy is a 10-year-old girl growing up in rural Poplar Holler, Kentucky, a small town where everyone has secrets. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Icy's secret is that she has two sides, the side that everyone sees, and the side she keeps tucked away and hidden. The side that uncontrollably pops, jerks, and croaks. An orphan, she relies on the support of her maternal grandparents, as well as another misfit in a neighboring town, Miss Emily Tanner. I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Rubio paints a cruel and unrelenting picture of small town life in the 1950s. Icy's inability to regulate or understand what her young body is doing is heartbreaking, and the reader experiences firsthand her fear and frustration while she searches for normalcy in a world that avoids the strange and unorthodox. The only thing that kept me from giving this a five-star rating was an unexpected story shift near the end that was heavy on religion. Preach, girl. It felt forced and unnecessary, although I understand the bigger lesson the author was trying to convey. Still, Icy Sparks is an enjoyable read and teaches us all that our faults are oftentimes our greatest strengths. Book number three is A Virtuous Woman by Kay Gibbons, which I rated three out of five stars. Gibbons gives us a story of 40-year-old blinking Jack Ernest Stokes, who marries Ruby Pitt Woodrow, a woman half his age. Despite the age difference, Ruby longs for stability and security, and Jack offers both quite nicely. This is a story of two very different people We have nothing whatsoever in common. I don't even like you. who transcend both economic worth and social status in order to make a marriage work. A Virtuous Woman is a simple story about a man and a woman whose devotion for one another is uncomplicated and unwavering. Giving away no spoilers, Although Gibbons succeeds in providing a big picture view of a bittersweet relationship, I felt that there were some weighty topics that could have been developed just a little bit more. Fourth on the list is The Reader by Bernard Schlink, which I awarded five out of five stars. Schlink's story opens with 15-year-old Michael Berg, who falls ill while on his way home from school. Sick with hepatitis, he is found by 36-year-old Hannah Schmitz, and their chance encounter sets in motion a series of events that eventually leads to their unlikely and indecent love affair. <clears throat> Throughout their relationship, Hannah manages to keep her past private until years later when Michael sees Hannah in a courtroom and all of his unanswered questions about her past are revealed. You can't handle the truth! The reader is divided into three parts. The first is Michael and Hannah's meeting and growing relationship, while the second and third focus on Hannah's trial and the events following her verdict. 
The last two parts deal with weightier issues and make for more interesting and faster paced story. The Reader is one of those rare books that not only entertains and educates, but also challenges the way we think and feel while encouraging us to be better versions of ourselves. Finishing our list at number five is Jewel by Brett Lott, which I rated five out of five stars. It's 1943 and Jewel Chandler Hilburn is pregnant with her sixth and last child and all she wants is a breathing baby with 10 fingers and 10 toes. But life can change in an instant and Jewel soon finds herself with a baby that will forever change the way she views life and love. Lot delivers a poignant and touching story about a mother's relationship with her special needs daughter. Jewel is a woman who has lived a thousand lives but the heart of the story is the bond she shares with her daughter, Brenda Kay. Jewel is a celebration of the love between a mother and child and reminds us that our legacy is often measured through our children because it is they who will carry on our hopes, our stories, and a little bit of ourselves. Well, that's it. We'll post a link to our Goodreads page in the comment section below should you wish to read the full review of any of these books. And if you enjoyed this video, please click on like and subscribe and make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when new videos become available. Again, thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing back some old titles so that you can make new memories because anytime is a good time to dust off a new favorite. Keep reading. Mm -hmm.